Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In the last few lessons, we've been working with learning how to run insert statements from within our PHP code. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to run select queries from within PHP. We're going to talk a little bit about select, select queries and um, how they work as far as returning uh, results. We're going to talk about something we mentioned in our uh, lesson where we first introduced uh, accessing MySQL from PHP, uh, which is the MySQL I underscore result class, which is part of the MySQL I extension. And it's a class that basically is used to represent results returned from a select query. We're going to talk about the fetch associate method, which is part of this result class that's going to allow us to basically access information in, uh, the from the results of the select query. We're going to talk about something called uh, the standard class objects, which are uh, a, it's basically like a basic object that's built into PHP. We're going to talk about an alternative to fetch associ, which is fetch object, which is another way to allow us to access information in the results returned from a select query. And then we're going to talk uh, briefly about uh, freeing up a uh, result set memory, which means that freeing up the memory uh, that's occupied by results that are returned from a select query. So basically, uh, select queries uh, return a table of data, um, and the, the data that it returns is known as a result set. And you'll hear me use that term. I've actually probably used it before. Um, so when you run a select query, um, it basically returns a table of data that contains rows. It's, it's called a, a result set. Um, and actually, if we look at, uh, if I start our My, MySQL monitor, and I uh, run a select statement, um, on our items table, we can see that this is a result set. This is a table of data that it returns. It has all these, in this case, six different rows uh, with three different columns. And basically what um, we do is, is we're going to be able to uh, basically loop over this result set, processing each row one at a time, extracting any information we need to know. For example, we might want to output the name and price of every item returned by this select query. Uh, so the result set that we get returned uh, needs to be processed to extract the data, as we had just mentioned, to extract whatever data we want. And then uh, the memory it occupies, that that result set occupies, sh should be freed. So for example, maybe we, we run a select query that returns a thousand items from our database. Let's say you have this huge store. Uh, well, that occupies memory um, and so you want to, uh, on the server, so you want to be able to free that memory up. And we're going to um, talk a little bit about that in the last uh, slide of the lesson. Basically, select queries are, want, are run in the same way that we learned how to run our insert queries. You simply run them using the query method of our uh, MySQLi object. Um, the difference is that when you run a select query, it's actually going to return, assuming that the query was successful, if it's not, it returns false, it's going to return a result set that's in the form of this new object that we're going to learn about called MySQLi underscore results, which is basically an object that encapsulates um, the result set returned from a select query. Um, so basically, the, it represents, as you just mentioned, the result set from a query. Um, and it's, as an object, it has properties and methods. One of the properties that it has is num underscore rows. And basically, what that tells you is the number of rows that this particular result set returns. So if we look back at this select query we had run in MySQL Monitor, the result set had six rows, so if we ran this uh, through PHP, uh, this uh, result set object um, would have uh, the num rows property would be equal to six. Um, and so uh, that's uh, one of the things we can learn about is how many uh, rows were returned from a uh, query. And then it also has the following object methods for processing a result set. There's one called fetch underscore soch. Um, which basically allows you to um, fetch a row from this result set one row at a time, and it returns that information from the result set as an associative array, or returns the information from each row as an associative array. It has an analog called fetch underscore object, which does the same thing, except that instead of returning the data from a particular uh, row in the result set as an associative array, it returns it as, a, of an, as an object, and in particular, it, it returns it as an object of a class type known as standard class, which is a, a, a built-in uh, sort of default class type in PHP that we're going to talk about in a little bit. And basically, the way the two fetch methods work is that you use them to um, loop over the rows of a result set. So we saw that our result set for our select query that we just looked at had six rows in it. Well, basically what you do is you continually call this fetch associ or fetch object method 
um, on your MySQLi results object. And every time you do that, it's going to return either an associative array or an object representing that particular row. And it'll continue to return rows until it reaches um, the end of the result set. There's no more rows, in which case it will return null.